Do you like space games? Welcome to What The Math. This is Endless Sky, a game I've recently found and it's absolutely free. It's actually open source and it's absolutely awesome. I just started my new pilot. I'm going to show you how this game plays and what this game is all about. But in, in a nutshell, it is a game about trading and exploring the universe and getting into trouble in the universe. Now, we have to start by mortgaging some money from the bank and then we have to buy our first ship. So this is going to be our choice. We have three choices here. We have a shuttle a star barge, which is a trading ship, or a sparrow, which is an interceptor. I'm going to actually choose this uh, because I've never played as an interceptor before. I've played as the other two ships already. We're going to buy it, and this will leave us with no money whatsoever because it's really, really expensive. Let's name our ship. It's going to be Sparrow 1. Very, very, very creative. Uh, oh, I still have some money left. Uh, we still have 32,000 credits. Now... Now that we've bought our ship, we found our, find ourselves on our home planet of New Boston, I think is what it's, what it's called. And here we have different choices. So this is how this game works. Um, you can go to a job, a job board and choose a, a kind of a job for yourself. You can basically um, choose any of these missions. A lot of them are delivery missions to different systems. A lot of them uh, require you to transport passengers. Some of them are rush delivery, meaning that you have to go really, really, really fast. Uh, so there's uh, transport missions as well. You can uh, also just choose something a little different. You can go into um, the, uh, not the bank, but the space, no, where am I looking for? Trading right here. And you can start trading items. So if you bought a space barge, for example, you can try to buy items really cheaply. Like for example, um, I think this right here, industrial items would be very cheap here uh, or electronics and then sell them for, for a, a much more expensive price in a different system. Uh, the, you can also obviously outfit your ship, you can buy various weapons, various uh, modules for your ship and basically put them on your ship, making your ship more powerful. Or of course you can buy new ships, you can uh, also hire crew, you can actually get uh, more people to help you. You can have, um, if you have a bigger ship you may need more crew or you can even hire people to, to uh, pilot another ship for, uh, with you. So let's actually see if we can find some sort of a mission where we have to possibly transport passengers. Okay, let's try that. So we're going to choose this. Uh, there, we need um, one passenger bunk, so we have that, I think. And we're going to have to transport this passenger to a system called Acrux. Uh, so now we're just going to depart and find ourselves in space. So this is how this game works. You control the uh, the ship with uh, arrow keys. I'm going to move my mouse a little bit. And you also obviously have uh, weapons and and uh, you can uh, you have missiles, you have weapons, you can attack ships, you can actually also become a pirate and just basically attack these guys. Oh, and they moved away from me. <laughs> I was about to click on them. Uh, attack these guys um, and steal their, uh, their cargo or whatever. Or you can just become a peaceful trader and move around the galaxy and move around the universe. Now, uh, there are a few buttons you have to know uh, because this game doesn't really have any tutorial. So you have to kind of go into the preferences and discover all of the buttons. So uh, what you want to know is the afterburner button and also L is to land on a planet or a station. J is to execute a hyperspace jump. Um, there's also weapon fires here, so uh, tab and uh, W will change weapons, tab is to attack. And so th basically what you want to do now is to go and try to complete the mission. So not all planets can be landed on, but some you can land on. Like for example, this one here is too hot to land on, it's going to tell you so. Uh, so we can't really land on uh, any of the other planets in the system. And you can usually tell if you can land if the planet is blue on your screen. Um, but this game also uses a Newtonian physics, so it's actually kind of cool because you do have to try to move your ship, um, assuming that there's Newtonian physics at work. Uh, so let's actually try to look at the map, and we have to go here. We don't really know how to get there yet, but we know that there's a system in this area that we can get to by jumping there. So we're going to cl click on J, and this is going to be our hyperspace jump. Now, you only have a limited fuel for hyperspace jumps. Uh, for this ship, you can do it three times. So that I just did it once. I moved uh, and wasted fuel right here or spent my fuel. I can do it two more times. If you find yourself on a system 
uh, without any stars and uh, you have no fuel left, you can actually call for help and uh, a friendly ship in the vicinity will, will try to help you. Uh, it's kind of cool, it's a cool feature to have. Uh, oh no, I pressed the wrong button. I was gonna land. Press the wrong button, let's, let's jump back. And uh, here we go, we're, we just ran out of fuel, but luckily there is actually a planet here we can land on right here. Land on this planet. And now we've landed a new planet called New Greenland. So here you can uh, go trading again, you can go to job board and get a new job to get paid. Uh, you can obviously get more money from the bank if you want to, um, or you can do the other things like hiring crew and so on. Uh, every time you land somewhere, your fuel is uh, automatically refueled, but I'm not really sure if I'm going the right way. So let's try to complete this one mission here and also possibly shoot someone if we can. What is this? Oh, it's, it's a star. Okay, never mind. Uh, there's quite a lot of... Uh, um, randomly generated, procedurally generated systems in this game and quite a lot of ships, quite a lot of um, friends and enemies so in that sense this game is actually pretty uh, pretty diverse, pretty unique oh here we go, Here's speaking of enemies oh, don't, go away, get away, get away get away, get away oh, uh, oh no, 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 oh, okay I have been disabled, so this is what happens when you uh, reach a system that is not very friendly my ship has been disabled. Press N to cycle through the ship system. When you have a friendly, uh, press T to hail it because it will, it will save you. None of these are friendlies. Oh, this guy's friendly. Okay, yeah, ask for help. So let's ask for help. He's gonna ho hopefully help us a little bit. Hang on, I'll be there in a minute. And help me survive this. Uh, so this will happen a lot and I kind of like this about this game because it's very complex but it's also very, very simple. There's quite a lot of really cool things in this game that make me actually want to play it more. Uh, okay, he repaired us a little bit, he's gonna repair us more. Alright, we're, we're no longer disabled. I'm gonna go land on that planet right there, just so I can refuel and possibly repair my ship. Uh, but um, yeah, this game actually reminds me of the X series, if you've never played that, it's basically a very complex space simulator, and this is kind of like that. Oh no, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, here we go, land. Um, and except that of course it's in two dimensions and it's a lot more simpler, but it's also free. It's absolutely free uh, Which is kind of awesome. I think uh, Okay, I don't really have any money to buy anything. So I'm may as well try to complete that mission Let's go see if we can reach that system finally uh, if you spend too much time trying to complete a mission you will no wrong way <laughs> That was a totally wrong way uh, You will actually fail that mission So I'm trying to complete it really fast here there's no music in this game, unfortunately, but there are sound effects, um, which I think is enough for me personally, because I usually I play my own music anyway, uh, but some people may, may not be happy with that. No, get away. Oh, so close. So close. close too, close uh, too close for comfort here. Uh, Alright, so we're going... Yes, we're going this way. We actually w did go the right way after all. Uh, because I borrowed money from the bank to buy the ship, I will get mortgage payments all the time. Uh, okay, let's, let's go kill someone. This guy. This guy's a jerk. This guy's a jerk. He needs to die. Here we go. My first ship. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Take that. Uh, okay. I wonder if we got any money for this. I don't think we did. Oh, jeez. Really? Seriously? I just killed one and there's like three show up. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. Sure, buddy. Sure. No. Uh, I died, alright. Here is going to be a dangerous place for new captains. Fortunately, your game is automatically saved every time you leave a planet. Okay, so this is what happens when you die. And... ta-da. So anyway, so this is basically the game in a nutshell. It's super fun, it's really difficult. It has trading, it has combat, it has a uh, really huge universe. This is actually very, 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 very large. Uh, as you can see, I can just keep scrolling and scrolling and there's no end. And uh, it's procedurally generated, and there's quite a lot of really awesome things to do. But really, it's all about um, trade and exploration and completing missions, and obviously becoming a more powerful captain. So if you like games like X, uh, games like X Beyond the Frontier, or X Rebirth, the more recent one, um, or even games like Evil One, you may actually like this, because it's, it's free and it's awesome. Anyway, so this is Endless Sky, I'm posting the link for this game in the description below. And this is an awesome game to learn all these awesome trading concepts, you know, buying low, uh, s selling high, 
or um, basically moving uh, different produce across the universe. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you try to give this game a try and like it as well. Game you later and bye bye.